Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be doing this makeup tutorial for you. It is the makeup look that I am wearing. I have my engagement pictures today, so this is the look that I was going for. Just real simple, natural, but a little bit defined. I'm using my Coastal Sense 28 Neutral Palette. So if you want to see how I did this look, and stay tuned for the end of this video, I'm going to be showing you my outfit for our engagement pictures. Okay, so before I start um, apply any makeup, I'm going to first apply my Revlon Beyond Natural Smoothing Primer. And I'm putting this on because our pictures are being taken outside. And this is really going to smooth my skin out and hold on to that makeup longer so I don't sweat it off because it's pretty hot. This is also great if you want to minimize your pores or wrinkles and just have your skin looking a little bit more flawless. So I'm just going to apply just a little bit of this all over my face. And then I'm going to apply my Revlon Colorstay um, foundation. This is in Golden Beige. I borrowed this from my sister because I love the finish that this gives. It gives a really flawless um, airbrush look. And then I'm going to apply my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. And this is in Medium Dark slash Natural. And I'm going to apply this over it, apply my concealer, and then we'll get started with the makeup look. Okay, once you've already um, finished your face, what you're going to do is apply your eyeshadow primer all over your lid up to your eyebrow. And then what you're going to do is take your Coastal Sense 28 Neutral Palette and a flat shader brush. And we're going to go into B3, which is a soft golden shade here. We're going to put this all over the lid. Okay, so I'm just patting this all over my lid. And then into my inner corner. And this is just a really soft gold shimmery shade. It's really pretty. Now what I'm going to do is take this small round crease brush and I'm going to go into A4 which is this shimmery highlight shade. I'm just going to pick up a little bit of this and just put it right in the tear duct in the corner of my eye so that when the light hits it kind of captures that inner corner. Gives you a little highlight there. And then a little below, this really brightens up those eyes, makes them look bigger and more open. It's just a real nice highlight touch to any makeup look. Okay, now what I'm going to do is take a round crease brush, a small one, and we're going to go into C3, which is this taupey matte shade. It's a perfect crease color, and that's exactly what we're going to do with it. Tap off the excess and then just uh, do windshield wiper motions right into your crease. And just keep applying that until you get a nice softly defined crease. Okay, now what I'm going to do is take a large flat shader brush and we're going to do our highlight and I'm going to go into, actually, I almost went to the wrong one, B2, this matte white cream shade. And take some of that on your brush, tap off the excess, and I'm going to apply this right under our brow. Just like that. And it just gives a nice natural highlight look. Nothing too shimmery. I would kind of try to stay away from very shimmery things, especially on your face, um, because it's going to just pick up the shine if your um, camera has flash, or especially like um, my pictures are outside and I'm, I'm going to be sweating as it is. It's very, very hot today, so I don't need to add any extra shine. So now I just cleaned off this brush, it's the round crease brush, and I'm going to go into F which is the matte dark brown shade. I'm just going to very softly pick that up on my brush and now we're just going to go into the crease with this about halfway and just kind of add a little bit more depth to that crease like that. Very very softly. I'm just very gently moving that brush back and forth and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply, sorry, <laughs> I was like not thinking for a second. I'm using this small round crease brush. This is by Coastal Scents. 
And I'm going to go into the color right next to that, which is G4, the matte black shade. Very, very lightly pick this up, tap off the excess, and we're going to do our outer V with this. So very, very gently, you don't want a dramatic smoky eye, just a little depth and definition and then create that V, smudging it, and then going up, and just creating a little bit of a darker look. Okay, so now you can kind of see, and it's really up to you, you can be the judge of how smoky or defined you want it. If you want a little bit darker, you can keep building on that. But it's really up to you. Then, of course, what you're going to do to kind of smooth things out and blend it all together, just take a round crease brush, a little bit of a larger one. Don't put any product on it and then just blend that out so that it all looks real nice and neat. You don't have any harsh lines. Okay, and that's pretty much it for the uh, lid. I will show you what to do for the lower lash line. Okay, and that completes this look for um, taking pictures. This is what I'm wearing. Like I said, it's for my engagement pictures, so I just want it very um, kind of natural, semi-smoky, but not overboard. So what I did for my face, I already showed you what I did with my foundation and everything, um, but for my cheeks, I just wanted a simple kind of... Um, pinky flushed look and I use my uh, Maybelline Precious Pink Blush. It's kind of like a satin finish. It's sort of matte, sort of shimmery. And just for a little bit of a golden shimmer, I used my um, highlight portion of my MAC Marley Skin Finish in Natural. And that's about it. I really don't recommend going overboard with any highlights um, because like I said, you don't want your face to look too shiny. For the lips, again, I went real natural. I used Max Hue Lipstick. Lipstick. I can't say that word. Um, and then over that, I have Mac Lip Glass and Oyster Girl. And it's just real nice, pinky nude, simple and natural. So let me show you what I have in my outfit so you can see the whole look. Okay, so here is. I'm gonna show you guys my outfit. I showed it on my getting married vlog, but. I thought I'd show you guys in person. So let me first just show you. I have very simple jewelry. I didn't want to go too crazy. So I just have um, simple gold hoop earrings and then just a little gold necklace. I thought that's kind of cute. It's like two circles together. I don't know. It's kind of whatever. But I'm just kind of going with that theme, the gold jewelry. I don't have any bracelets on. I, of course, have uh, my engagement ring on. And then this ring I always have on, and you've seen in like all my videos. And I got my needles done for our pictures. So anyways, for my outfit, the top, we were going with black tops. As you can see, it's kind of, I like the cut on this because it's not too low. And it's got looser, oopsie, sorry, looser arms. And um, it's kind of loose fitted, but kind of tight, not too tight. So I really like that. For my pants, I showed you those. These are sevens. They're kind of like a gray wash jean. And then they're the A pocket. And they have the little rhinestone on it. It's really cute. For the shoes, I have my nude heels on. I got these from Target. They were $30. So that's about it. For my hair, I just went really simple. My hair does not curl. So I just went straight with a little volume on top, which is my typical look and if you want to see how to do that I have um, a hair tutorial on my everyday look so I'll post all those links for you guys and that's about it so wish me luck I'm really really excited and I will have to show you guys the pictures as soon as they're in thanks for watching bye